zombies is in the house and it's out of control. We actually had to cut the registration short by two days because there's too many cars and we are having the time of our lives. Beautiful cars, great car people, friends everywhere. You don't want to miss this one. Dennis's place. He has a car collection that is to die for. Wait till you see this. collection. There's some interesting stuff here. Let's come with me and take a look. Hey guys, it's not really a car, but you know what? It is vintage and it is a BSA. This bike was kick-ass back in the day when it was brand new and somebody had enough love for it to put her back in just like new shape. Nice to see. We're over here with JF today on the garage tour looking at some stuff. He's always giving me a hard time and says, come on down Abe, take a look. Come see some of the stuff in our neighborhood. You need to get down here. We got better stuff in our neighborhood, he says. And you know what? I think he's right. <laughs> this doesn't suck, eh? You know what, JF? I was just telling them guys, I think you got better stuff in your neighborhood than we got in ours. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> How's the day going for you? We're the, we're the slightly refined part of Rust Valley. Well, you know what? It's nice to see. There's a lot of vehicles here. There's a lot of good stuff here. Doesn't suck. I tell you what, not at all. You're looking around and you go, wow. But I tell you More what, importantly, how do you love car people, car enthusiasts, and the big family that we've created around here? You don't want to know something that's absolutely spectacular. It, you know, it just gives you a good feeling when you show up to these things. You look around and you go, wow, look at all these people. The other thing that hits me right away when I'm here and I look at everything, how many hours everybody uh, spent putting this stuff uh, together. That's something. No, nobody knows that better than you and I because we're hands on, right? It's, it, it, it's amazing. You'll watch somebody walk by a car and they'll go, hey, take this truck for instance. You look by and go, oh, that's really nice. Yeah. That's nice. It's, it's really nice. That's nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, you didn't paint it, eh? Well, that's kind of cool. I keep on walking. Yeah. And the, guy's a, got, the guy's got, hours oh, got 2,000 hours into it of aggravation. Yes. And it's just. And you know what? You just you hit on something there. The 2,000 hours of aggravation is what makes car people real. We have patience. And not always, but we do end up having patience in the end. And the other neat thing is you always get asked, oh, did you love doing that project? Well, I'll tell you what, guys. Yeah, you loved it for about 75%. 
and then the other 25%, you wish somebody to come along at night and maybe steal it. <laughs> Busted knuckles and bleeding hearts. Oh my God. The uh, last, the last little bit. I tell you what, it's a killer. Cheers to you guys. You bet. and it is an absolute visual treat for all your car people. Whether you like old cars, new cars, no, if you're just a car enthusiast, you're absolutely gonna love it. Look at these guys showing up in style. Not bad. Started here as a uh, just turned 20 year old. So that was 1966. Bumped into the farmer's daughter, married her, got the farm, got the same farmer's daughter, came with a tractor, still got the same car I drove up in. It's out in the far garage, and the rest has happened since then. Well, then I'm going to ask you <laughs> car or two a year, and uh, this is what happened. If we've got 12 minutes to show the audience your favorite, most interesting pieces, the ones you're excited about right now, or the ones that mean a lot to you, name off a few cars that we can't leave this place without seeing. Well, we could start off with the newest BSAs over there that nobody's ever heard of before. But... Should the, we do that? The very first Model A. No, you don't have to do the whole tour. You can just kind of tell us and we'll go find the cars. Oh, it's kind well, of a treasure hunt for us. Treasure hunt. Yeah. Yeah, well, like I mentioned, we still got the first car. First car, we got to go find that. So it's a Model A coupe with a DeSoto motor in it, and uh, gosh, from there on, we Tell go. us the truth about that car, though. The Rumor truth. has it you were a show car guy at some point. Oh. Have you given that up? No. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, there is a show car here from the 60s. Amazing Model A, we're going to go find that. So Give us a couple more to chase down. There's a, there's a Model A Roadster pickup that's a Toyota Celica powered that served about 10 <laughs> years worth of uh, beating around and even towing trailers with old cars in them to get them home with. But uh, we're kind of known for our road trips. We used to Drake take a Model T up the mountain on a regular basis over here right through the winter attending a car club over in Oliver. 
so that was always interesting in the middle of the <laughs> middle of winter. So uh, that's a good one to look at. But uh, we've got BMW Isetta that we had down at crowd the, favorite for sure. Down at the um, do the Expo '86. Won our class with that show car stuff. Show car stuff. And uh, Boy, you had show cars. <laughs> From there, we should not bother with the paint. Let's try to accent the idea that this is old. So the last build is a Model A Touring over there that I'm quite proud of because it uh, looks like I just found it in the barn. So that's a, that's somebody says, where did you find that? They take that as a compliment. <laughs> it doesn't look like it just went together last week. It took three years to build, but where did you find that, yeah. right? So yes, so we got some strange beetles to look at. Model T's, Model A's, some really eccentric stuff, stuff you've never heard of. Who's eccentric? Right? Correct. Okay, let's go! His first car. That's his first car. Very first car. So he yeah. Opened. Yeah. He bought it as a completely stock. Was it a restored model A or was it just a real nice survivor at the time? Uh, yeah, to make a profit kind of a deal. It was <laughs> actually pretty cheesy. You have to sell it to make a profit, don't you? Yeah, well. <laughs> he was the buyer at that time. It what year was it? $200 in 1963. Uh, that's the year I was born. That's the story we're looking for. Yep. Very cool. Went with Louie Doobie and his Morris Miner to go get it from an ad in the paper. I was enthralled with it. Gave the guy the deposit. It was going to be my car. I had to talk to Dad when he got home from work. Dad took a look at it and talked to the guy into giving me my money back. And I was a little happy. I oh, I want it. <laughs> okay. So we drove it for the first gas station, put fuel in. That's why there wasn't any. It's pouring out the gas tank around with a steering column sure. bolts onto it. Mm. And that's where the problems from there on in started. But it was work on it all summer and got to drive it to school next year. Wicked. That's cool. So it was all stopped at that time. So I do believe that's motor number five in it. Three stockers and two DeSotos. No kidding. For seven? No. No? <laughs> you said everything. Everything's for sale. I need the bottle. Yeah, that surprises me how many people do make a tea bucket out of glass as mm -hmm. opposed to, well, you can still find them. Yeah. I have a tea bucket that was built in 1970. And I bought it thinking it was steel, just off the pictures. A friend of mine owned it. He was a friend of my dad's. And I told him, well, I'll take it. And then when I got it, it was glass. So I'm looking for a steel one. You have them around. Uh, Seth Hammond, maybe? Yeah, you know Seth? No, but I know his car. Yeah, I own that car now. All right, but it's a glass one. Yeah, so I want to put the body back on, but in a metal body. Now, Seth's shop was right next to my dad's shop. I grew up with Seth. And okay. we just finished, here I'll show you the... So he was a bit of a legend with the Long Beach Hill yeah. Climb there. I'm thinking he played <laughs> that game over that and over. That car is hanging on his wall, and then he wants to build another one. He got outlawed as soon as he ran it. So he left that one on the wall, and we just were, were finishing. We're leaving on June 20th to go to Nebraska to do another hill climb, and his goal is to get outlawed again. Perfect. So let me, let me show you what, he, what we're building. Okay. But it keeps the distributor going at the mm -hmm. front end of the engine speed. So it's got like an overrunning clutch there. And after it's uh, let go of the starter, then it's a generator again. Smart. Yeah. So we did a little bit of creatives going on in here. I didn't just want to have a piece of plywood across mm -hmm. here with all this mechanicalness. I tried to yeah, accentuate that. It's fun to look that. at it. So these are pedals off like your old treadle sewing machine. Okay. 
just a place to put your feet, but the mm -hmm. real ones are up there. And uh, I needed to have something there so you couldn't drop a leg through and break it mm -hmm. off kind of thing. But, uh, That's a cool. Interesting piece. Well, Chip Foose, I'm here at Ken's place. And if I were ever to say that there was such a place as a field of dreams, this is it. Because everywhere you look, you get a new idea for a new dream. This is a 28 or 29. Uh, and it's a sport coupe. Yeah, these are rare. Sport coupe here. So it had a convertible top that rolled back here. Years ago. Here, here. Get it over here, Jim. Please. That's what I'm just saying. That's what I'm saying. I know he listened really good. <laughs> no, there's only two pedals. I'm too lazy to ship. <laughs> That's the only reason behind it. Hey, how's it going? Just give her a slam. That one's got to be a. There you go. That's better. Yeah. That's yeah. a better one. Where are you going? Photos. We gotta find a little donut shopping to clean it. She's going donut I'm shopping. You guys aren't gonna leave me alone about that, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I told you you're going donut no. shopping. You do a million yeah. fucking donuts <laughs> and you put one, one car in the ditch. What's that joke? You fuck one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> He can paint it for you. <laughs> this is all model B stuff. I like your weld. <laughs> that's, that's metal work right there. <laughs> now we're just getting the photo shoot done. It's always awesome to get a car in a magazine. It's the last print that actually still exists, so buy some magazines because you can actually touch them 20 years later and you have to go through YouTube to go. Keep coming. Where did that video go? Right?